Today's objective is adding and subtracting rational numbers, specifically fractions with like denominators and decimals. So first we're going to talk about decimals. Step one, line up the decimal points and add zeros if necessary so that you have the same number of digits after each decimal point. Number two, remember the rules. Same sign sum, different signs take the difference. Difference is subtraction, sum is addition. And number three, you may rewrite subtraction as adding the opposite anytime you would like to. Okay? So here's an example. 16.3 plus 18.51. Now I know we should say 16 and 3 tenths plus 18 and 51 hundredths, but I'm going to just read the digits as they appear so that you understand exactly what I'm saying. Always write the problems I mean vertically so that we um, can add them better. So I write 16.3 18.51, lining up the decimal points, and I notice, oh, I need to add a zero after the three so that I have the same number of digits after each decimal point so the columns are lined up, okay? So zero plus, now I just add. Zero plus one is one, three plus five is eight, bring down my decimal point. Six plus eight is 14, carry the one. One plus one plus one is three, and we're done, okay? So here's another example negative 14.3 minus 18.62. Now here's something I, I don't want to, I don't like it when the small, when there's a negative in front or I don't like it when the number in front is smaller than the number at, at, coming afterwards. So I'm going to rewrite this. So it's negative 14.3 plus negative 18.62. Once again, I write my numbers down and I write them vertically. Negative 14.3, negative 18.62, those are my numbers, okay? I put a plus because I know I'm adding. I add a zero to the after the three so that there's the, the columns line up, and I add. Zero plus two is two, three plus six is nine, four plus eight is 12, carry the one, one plus one plus one is three, bring down the negative sign. So you want to rewrite your horizontally listed problems. So maybe I should just say rewrite horizontal, I'll write I don't like how I said this. I'm going to say rewrite vertically so you don't make an error. I was going to go a big explanation, but this is better. All right. Don't forget your signs. Notice I didn't do subtraction either. It's the same thing. Okay. All right. Now let's talk about fractions with like denominators. Once again, same sign sum, different signs difference. And you want to simplify, which means reduce. Simplified means do whatever you can do on that particular problem. And in this problem, it would mean reduce your final answers. So here I have an example, 7 thirteenths plus 11 thirteenths. You just add your numerators. You get 18 thirteenths, same sign. They're both positive, same sign sum. Listen, this is important. You do not need to change it to a mixed number unless it doesn't make sense as an improper fraction, okay? You can totally just leave it 18 thirds. You don't need to say one and five thirds, okay? Here's another example. Negative three eighths minus five eighths. Now here's one of those problems that looks funny. It's not a traditional subtraction where the first number is bigger. So I'm gonna rewrite it as adding the opposite. Negative three eighths stays the same. And then I put a plus parentheses negative five eighths. Now this stands out negative 3, negative 5. They're the same sign, so I'm going to sum. Adding my numerators, I get negative 8 eighths. Well, this needs to be simplified because anything over itself is 1. But don't forget your negative sign. Now, the negative, um, see, I don't want you to get confused that here you're saying, but it's subtraction, and here I'm saying it's negative. Remember, when you talk about the individual terms, you talk about the sign in front of it. So that's a negative 3 eighths, and that's a negative 5 eighths. If I'm taught reading the whole problem, then I read the sign as the operation, negative 3 eighths minus 5 eighths, okay? So let's do another example, 3 sevenths plus negative 6 sevenths. Well, I can just see by looking at these that they're different signs, so I have to take the difference. Now, I 
look at, see if I have more positives or more negatives. Do you have more positives or negatives? Well, more negatives. So I put down the negative sign and then I subtract. And I always subtract the smaller number from the larger no number. So in my head, I'm thinking 6 take away 3 equals 3. So that's how I get my 3. I've already put my negative sign down, 3 sevenths. And I said, why is it negative? Because there were more negatives to begin with. In the last example, negative 3 eighths plus 5 eighths. Different signs again, because if we just looked at the term, it's, this is a positive and that's a negative. So I take the difference, but is this one going to be positive or negative? You always think about that first. Well, I have more positives, I have five of those, and I have three negatives, so my answer is going to be positive. So I can just write down equals, and then now what I'm thinking is five minus three equals two, so two eighths. And I had wrote a note on here. How do you know it's positive? Because there are more positives to begin with. Now this two eighths can be simplified because two and eight both have a common factor of two. So divide the numerator and the denominator by two, you get one fourth. That's it.